peace to the gods, peace to the earth. This your man, the king of truth, the king of truth is our life. Coming on this understanding cypher day, right? But y'all do the math, um, do the math, right? You know, it was a show on Facebook and YouTube. I don't know old girl still up there. She had a show called Do the Math. And she would interview Dr. Wesley a lot from the Nation of Islam. Young girl. But uh, y'all do the math. Understanding cipher. Right? That, that just means know who your people is. You know, know who your network is. Know their capabilities and qualifications. Understanding your cipher. You know, knowing you know, your full potential and, and their limitations. Understanding cipher, right? Uh, yeah, so, but I forgot to mention last night when I made that video, this may be part two. Um, as you can see, I'm driving. And, uh, You know, I forgot to say, I was thinking about seriously uh, going, I, 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 you know, I got to find out which, which courthouse, which city Tupac committed that crime in, that, uh, that rape, you know, I, I looked it up, it, it it was at the Parker Meridian, but I think the Marriott bought the Parker Meridian. So it's no longer the Parker Meridian. That's what, you know, just a little quick research shows. But so it's either New York or Manhattan, I think. And I was thinking about going to the prosecuting prosecutor's office and, uh, you know, telling, telling that he is alive and not dead and that they should be proactively looking to bring him to justice. You know, I was thinking about taking, taking my own time, flying to New York, driving to New York, whatever, and, and like turning myself in or, you know, going in there and, you know, telling them, you know, I didn't see Tupac alive, you see, really. Um, so yeah, man, I was, I was seriously considering that, you know, the dude, you know, he a pest to me and, you know, he don't, you know, the, the reason why he is in this trouble still today, he don't know what no me, right? You know, the reason that I'm able to do this today, cause he don't know what no me, right? He don't, he don't know what no me. He think he can, no matter what, no matter who. So he needs to be taught no man for real, uh, you know. But and so you know, I, so I begin to think, you know, with this Adult Survivors Act, right? Why is it? Why has it? Why has it taken so long for these 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 rape allegations, these rape cases to? come to the light why are, are they weak cases you know like you know what's going on you see them so these cases 20 30 years old you know they should have been handled i don't and so i don't understand why you know they can be brought to the light you know you would think statute of limitations have run out 15 16 17 years so i don't know it will i don't know if it was legal maneuvering on um I don't know if it was legal maneuvering on uh the defense attorney's parts that kept the kept the cases out of court out of trial but it's starting to seem like the prosecuting attorney's office is trying to send a message to the uh, alleged victims that 
they need to be more careful who they playing with, right? If if a if a man you don't know personally, you know of him through his fame and popularity, you know, invites you to a hotel room or back to his house or to to a boat or something or to be private with him or to a bedroom in a in a in a party party group setting right you, you know you know what do you think he want to do if he want to be alone with you and he giving you drinks and weed and things of that nature what do you think he what do you think he or they want to do right so you know the so the so the so the pro i think the prosecuting attorneys in all these matters all these rape cases is uh trying to send a message to you know the victims that you know you know they got to be more careful you know um you know it, it's it's you know it's not good judgment or common sense to trust people because of their fame and they got money so you know they see it as sort of the 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 female could see it as they don't want to do nothing to mess up their money, so they, so they, so they assume that they are safer to be around than than other dudes, right? So, like, yeah, so you know, you know, I, 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 I you know, I can't explain why, why it has taken a long time, 20, 30 years for these rape allegations for these sexual assault allegations to come to the light, right? So, you know, that's how I see that, right? Yeah, man, women women that seek out men feel feel more comfortable with men that have money and fame need to be more careful because they don't know the men, right? They don't they don't know the men and, and it seemed like, you know, the you know the the men may get too rough and the women may say no and that man is like you know thinking you ain't finna tell because you know they you know cause they got money and fame don't mean they up right or you know uh mentally balanced or whatever and they and they might and they may might not like to be told no when they want something so especially if the man spending money on you or you know, you know, letting you ride in the luxury cars and the luxury hotel suites. You know, he may want something and, you know, feel he could, you know, he has bought it. And, you know, when he's ready for it, he feel like he can take it. So, you know, I think the prosecuting attorney office and, 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 and cases and, and high profile sexual assault cases is sending a message to the women that they got to be more careful, you know, who they go off with, right? You know, you got to get to know a person, you know. So, that's all I'm saying. That, yeah, I was really going, really considering, you know, maybe writing, maybe I start with a letter or I just want to just, you know what I'm saying, you know, tell these tell these people Tupac not dead for real and they need to be you know being you know more vigilant in bringing him to justice whether he can clear his name or you know go back to jail for you know his crime you know cause he he really don't know what no man he, you know he has you know and he has no remorse for raping that young woman and he don't know what no man Yeah, that's it. I'm out. Peace.